Hey there guys, what's going on? It's Gale Riot here back on the 5-9 channel and we are here with the Golden Week celebration information. JP's obviously in dropped their info bomb, quote unquote, telling us what will be coming throughout this celebration featuring EZAs, Peton Battle, Chain Battle, Battlefield, IDBH, and more. Today with me we have Ignant. Say hello. Yo, All right, up, sweet, 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 sweet. So we're just gonna quickly go wrap it, uh, wrap through the information, talk a bit about what's coming, what's not, uh, some of the interesting stuff that's coming. We will come on to that in just a second. Some big information and some very exciting information for both myself and Nigi. I'd, I'd say because we've been waiting for this for quite a while, and yeah, it's coming. So let's start off with the what, what we have on screen. Of course, we have Giru. You know, obviously saying Golden Weeks here. You know these missions i think this is part one missions or a login bonus going from 28th to the fifth a special login bonus for golden week and then we have the dual dokkan fest at the bottom with goku and vegeta as expected not surprising here uh obviously the main title card for golden week again not surprising all the dokkan events i assume are returning between this period of the 28th of april to the 25th of uh may or a certain amount and then we have peton battle of course this uh iteration of peton battle yeah. <laughs> this iteration of Peton Battle, I mean, I know why Ignan <laughs> is doing that because it's not like some extreme game mode, it's just adventures from Legends inserted into <laughs> Dokkan. Still free stuff, right? Um, but this iteration is basically containing uh, the Android Saga and rather the Dragon Saga characters. So that's going to be very exciting for those people who love those sagas and want to collect stickers for them. The next thing we have, of course, is more about the missions and login bonus again. Pretty straightforward, nothing to say. And then we have the two big pieces of information. Battlefield, I mean, I'm just joking. Battlefield is coming back, of course. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> I, I was about to say, yeah, you whoa there, Gail, buddy. Battlefield, it's stones, you're excited you know, for it's that. Stones. But yeah, no, just Battlefield. The second half of the information is more exciting. But Battlefield's coming back. Um, I do wonder if we will be potentially getting a new LR. It's highly unlikely because we didn't get a data download or anything. But there could be one right before Battlefield comes out. And that might have a new LR but, or something along those lines. Who knows? We'll wait and see what they do with that. But pretty much just assume normal Battlefield, right? The second piece of information, however, Goku and Vegeta SSJ4, yes, the sir. second year anniversary units, are finally getting their EZA. This has been highly anticipated and highly wanted by a lot of the community, and they're finally getting their EZA. The funny thing about their EZA, however, is that they're EZing from the same EZA. It's not two separate ones, you know, one for Goku, one for Vegeta, like they would normally do more often than not. It's kind of like the Saiyan Saga, Goku and Vegeta, as well as the uh, Buu Saga, SJ2, Goku and Majin Vegeta EZA stages, where it's the same stage. So, less stones, but you can EZA both at the same time. So, I think I'll still take that as a bit of a dub that we're getting both EZAs. What do you think about this one, Ignant? Like, I know you've been excited for these EZAs just as uh, much as I've been. Especially you, I know you've been interested in Vegeta's EZA more than I have. I've been interested in Goku's. Uh, but yeah, what do you think, Iggy? Yeah. I'm super excited. I really can't wait to yeah, see what they actually I agree. do, bro. I am mm -hmm. super excited. I've been waiting for this for so long. It's so stupid they skipped like the rest of 120 to just do a couple. Of I agree. I, I'm I'm very much looking forward to it. I personally think you know like you know we've been discussing what should they have. You know they're still very good. You know Goku gives himself 150 attack. Imagine his stats once they boost up to like the 140 uh, easy stats and Ooh. you know SA15 and all that. So he's gonna become a monster. And then Vegeta of course is a great blend of attack and defense already in his passive. So how much are they gonna improve him there, right? I genuinely hope Goku gets more defense, of course. That's his biggest problem right now um, in his passive. Probably like 80 to 100% defense, maybe. And then Vegeta. I don't know what they could do with Vegeta. Maybe just increase his stats boost across by like 10% or something or 20. You know, what? They probably give him like 150 attack and defense or something like that. And the Goku like 170 percent yeah, attack. Yeah, that's possible. They could make Goku 170 attack and then maybe 120 or 130 defense. Whereas Vegeta's like equal 150 attack, 150 defense, right? It's possible. It's very possible that they could do that. Let us know in the comment section down below what do you guys think they could do for them. Um, of course, all the story events come back. This is a bit out of order. We're just going through what this guy did it on Reddit. Uh, but effectively, some uh, all the story events from GT are coming back. IDBH. Obviously, we know GT uh, is getting its variant of the IDBH stages. It's going from Legic to Baby or... Not baby, sorry, Metal Rildo. So it's doing the Black Star Dragon Ball Saga, which leaves space for maybe them doing a baby version of the IDBH or even a uh, Super 17 arc uh, 
I don't know how much they can pull out of that one, uh, but they could probably throw in Dr. Mew, Dr. Jero, and stuff like that for the Super 17 version. Uh, very straightforward for the IDBH one, can't really say much about that, um, unless you have any points you want to add on that, Biggie, regarding IDBH. Um, it sounds about right to me. They're probably saving uh, the baby arc for a separate. I agree. Yeah, I mean, there's not much you can say about that, to be honest. Uh, yeah. I tried my best to just yeah. articulate as I could. It's like, well, yeah, no, that's really that. Yeah, say. you're not wrong there, of course. Um, of course, we have the EZAs coming back. Some of the EZAs, Gogeta, Frieza, you know, the older EZAs. Not too shocked there. The campaign uh, for uh, Boo and Bobbity, it seems like, is going to be starting, as well as the EZA campaign for B Pan, which we obviously discussed in a, we discussed well, in a previous baby. video. If you haven't checked that out, please be sure to check it out. And then, of course, we have another slew of GT history events coming back. Uh, we have the Blue Dragon Stone, and of course, the Elder Kai Banner. Now, before we get into the... Again, we have, we might go back to the EZAs in just a second for Goku and Vegeta. But if you look closely at this Elder Kai Banner, it's going from the 28th to the 13th, and then there's a second one from the 13th onwards, which means that there is a very high chance we could get another banner on the 13th, the, probably a part 2 LR. Now, this is going to be very interesting to me because this means we might get our first ever GT boss lead in this uh, part 2 LR, I assume, right? Um, I'm assuming it's going to be yeah. a 17 is my assumption. What do you think, uh, Iggy? I can't see it being Baby because you already have an LR Baby, right? I can't see it being Sin Shenron be yeah. uh, because, well, I think that's something they have to leave for, you know, a future dude Okan Fest Gogeta, right? So what do you think, Iggy? Uh, how, how do you think yeah. they're going to go? I think it'll probably, probably be a Super 17. They're giving like 170% attack HP defense to the new yep. category, something like that, which is actually very exciting because... Super 17 is one of my favorite villains in the series, so I'm yeah. very hyped for that. As with the same name update, he won't kill the yeah. TUR. Let's go! 100%. Let's go, gamers! I mean, it could also just be <laughs> Hellfighter 17 to Super 17 as well, maybe transforming, right? Um, yeah. So it's possible. Oh, I, I also do believe, you have to remember, GT bosses includes all the Shadow Dragon sagas as well, so it could be an LR Ice Shenron or nova shenron or a co both even ice and nova what if kind of card right they've never they don't really interact that much in the series mm -hmm. obviously but they could just create something for them specifically a nova and ice i know a lot of people have been clamoring for that right so i think that would be cool let us again know in the comments what do you guys think will be a second uh a, par a good part to lr for uh this celebration Obviously, more uh, GT story coming back. Um, I assume this is for the. This is going Hell to talk yeah, about dude. the support memories being added to these stages as well. Uh, Giru getting his easy, as we know. The Dokkan events, uh, the new ones, I should say, the new Dokkan events coming. And now, uh, this is gonna. This is very interesting. The category weakness to the EZAs is going to be artificial life forms. Now. I can't think of a team immediately, but I'm immediately going to units like, you know, LR Baby, uh, the Majin Boos and stuff like that, right? Those are going to be your best choices for this, right? Um, I assume you would probably run a full Boo team even, right? What do you think, uh, Iggy? Do you have any thoughts on this? Probably just a full Boo team? Oh, baby. <laughs> LR Boo takes about to come yeah. and clutch, my guy. Yeah, no, it's literally, I think, just <laughs> take Boos and run right. Obviously, I assume it's going to be, like, obviously going to uh, limit some of the units. But I think probably they're going to stop you from running probably, like, I'd say physical and... Tech, maybe? I don't know. No, no, can't be tech. I'd say physical and int, maybe. Potentially. We'll see. Um, But... Yeah, it's going to be a full boo team, probably. Uh, you could throw in maybe the LR Baby in there and stuff like that, I assume. So, that's good. Obviously, these events are coming back. The SJ4s. Sale. Super Sale. I oh, it's not even... Is it a Super Sale? I assume it's a Super Sale. Uh, coming for a Golden Week. That's what do a, you think? Yeah. I think it's a Super Sale and it gives you the... Obviously, it gives you the blue stone with it to get, like, one of the yep, 20 yep. or something like there that. There you go. So, Super Sale, obviously, for Golden Week, not surprising. Their chain battle. Ah, uh, everybody's favorite mode is back again. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Can't wait to absolutely open the app, go to chain battle, and reclose <laughs> the app right away. No, I mean, it's literally, to be fair, even if, even if you play it, it's like five minutes of playing the game and then just turning it off again. But this chain battle is going up against Baby, so you're most likely going to be using, uh, on the super side, a lot of uh, SJ4 units. Probably it'll be a mixture of, like, SJ4 Gokus being the uh, strong unit. 
quote unquote right the one of the strongest units the extreme side is going to be very interesting i think they might use so, some stuff like meta rildo baby and whatnot as your extreme side so if you have both sides good luck hopefully it goes well for you but it's going to be a very annoying one as per usual I feel this one could be a bit easier just because Goku and babies aren't lacking. Well, baby is kind of lacking, of course, having only the uh, non-Dokkan Fest SSR, the int version, and then, of course, the LR. So, could be a bit tricky on the extreme side. I think Super shouldn't be a problem for a lot of players because it's Super Saiyan 4s, I'd assume, or specifically Goku Super Saiyan 4. And then, yeah, about, apart from that, of course, we have the EZA banners. Um, Yeah, final thoughts, Iggy, on uh, what you think of the celebration? Super Saiyan 4 Easy A, so the possible LR for part two. That's a super I hundred percent agree with you. <laughs> Obviously, can't wait, can't wait to go play that chain battle, in the <laughs> battlefield. You know, the best game. Yeah, no, ever it's gonna to. be very interesting. I'm surprised. <laughs> obviously, I'm, I, well, I, I see. I'm not. I'm surprised. I'm not surprised that we have got. We haven't got any of the legendary Goku event information because that's gonna be specifically for the Goku Day campaign, uh, which we'll get information for next week or oh, yeah. two weeks from now. So, if you're surprised that no Legendary Goku event or you're wondering where it is, it'll come. Usually, they keep Goku Day as its own sort of campaign, whereas Golden Week is its own campaign, right? So, if global players don't see it and JP players don't see it, don't worry. We'll get it in about two weeks, or at least JP will definitely get it in two weeks. I don't know about global. Don't ask me about global. <laughs> I, to be honest, I'm, I'm, I, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be happy if we just get these two easiest, bro. If, if we don't get these two easiest, bro, I'm, as a global player, I, I'm just they're like, yeah, sure. We're, we're, we've been cucked again. Dude, would it, would it mean that global's only really getting the bad uh, No, they're getting ID, bitch. All right, chill. Calm down. Calm down. We're, we're getting ID. <laughs> oh, we're yeah. Getting, oh, yeah, man. Bitch. Oh, yeah. Enjoy. enjoy. <laughs> And JP is begging out yeah. 20 different events. We get well, we also get ESBR, global. so I can understand why they skip. So I can oh, yeah, kind of um, be there. Like, at least we're getting stones, right? Some content. But <laughs> it would be too yeah. funny if we don't get the SSJ for easy ace. But yeah, let us know in the comment section down below. What did you guys think of these uh, celebration info news drop? Uh... Are you guys excited for the SHF for Easy A's? I'm assuming you guys are. Let us know what you guys think will be coming in the part two as well. But yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more content. And yeah, Iggy and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, everybody. I will. <laughs>